Hello everyone, you are watching scuddy.com and I am Dr. Madhadar. Today our topic is bicepital tendon injuries. What is a bicep brachii? You must have done some form of weightlifting actually. The muscle which when you are supinating and flexing and showing it off is actually the bicep. As you know that we will be briefly discussing in this lecture the anatomy of the bicep before addressing the bicep tendon injuries. As there are two heads, the long head and the short head, they are attached on the radial uh, bone which is to the bicep tuberosity. Tendonitis can occur especially when during the athletes who are uh, for example in the, who have a function of a lot of throwing or for example in the bodybuilders who are doing a lot of exercises or for example it can also occur in certain old age patients who have problems with osteophyte formation or arthritis or malformation of the acromion as well. We will be moving on to discuss in details the bicep tendonitis that is the inflammation of the tendon of the bicep. Then from that onwards, as you know, initially the inflammation actually can render the tendon a bit unstable and teething can eventually lead to either this instability or subluxation or even the rupture of the tendon as well. We will be briefly discussing in this lecture about the proximal as well as the distal rupture of the bicep tendon and what are its treatment and management options. From then onwards, we will be moving on to the rare disease, but it is very, it's very important to know that it may exist in a patient as well, like for example, an hourglass bicep. What is an hourglass bicep? It's actually what happens is that there is a deformity at the level of transverse femoral ligament, which as a bony formation leads to a tunnel and bicep actually passes through this tunnel leading to an hourglass like appearance, which may result in this sort of a problem. Other and then we will be moving on to the instability. As you know, the shoulder joint actually is inherently unstable joint. There is uh, uh, there is a small glenoid which is actually attached to the large head of the bicep. This is actually a kind of a scenario of a T on a uh, ball like a situation. If you see, a golf ball is quite a big size and the T on which it is placed is actually a small size. Then there is a labrum which actually gives extra depth to the glenoid as well as a capsule and then there are static stabilizers such as the ligaments, capsule and the labrum. Now these are all static stabilizers help to stabilize the shoulder joint and so across during therefore as a lot of movement is required over the shoulder joint so excessive movement is actually contracted by dynamic stabilizers as well. And the dynamic stabilizers are actually all the muscles. We'll be briefly discussing how what is the role of the bicep brachii in stabilizing the shoulder joint, especially during the throwing movement, and what are actually the slap lesions. That is the superior labral anterior to posterior lesions of the labrum, which may be associated with the uh, damage to the bicep tendon anchor as well. From then onwards, we will be moving on to a rare disease called uh, usually a very common disease that is the uh, frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is quite common, especially in the case of females, and especially with associated with diabetes mellitus and cardiovascular diseases. We will be briefly discussing all the three stages that is the freezing painful, the frozen stage and the thawing stage and what are the management options especially the conservative as well as arthroscopic management options for the frozen shoulders. With the advent of arthroscopy it's actually the shoulder surgery has evolved into a, actually a separate field and all of the problems of the shoulder can now be actually corrected and treated arthroscopically with almost a lot of techniques which are available and you really nowadays there is actually a shift of performing uh, arthroscopic surgeries rather than the open surgeries for the problems with the shoulder joint if you want to watch more of videos on orthopedics like for example on the lower limb starting right from the hip up to the knee and the ankle joint and all the metatarsal fractures and if you want to view all those trauma uh, series all these which are available on the scardia.com go to scardia.com and watch all those videos on this website thank you very much keep watching scardia.com